welcome to Meteor's Study Center. Our today's topic will be geometry. Again, we are going with previous year Z paper, Z 2024 geometry. Our focus in the last video was on Z. In today's video, it is again Z as because there is very common mindset of students that Z paper is harder than CAT. In the last video, we discussed that if your concept is clear, no question will be hard to you. It may take some time to solve, but if your concept is clear, at the end, you can be able to solve it smartly. Now, this geometry question, it is a combined question of triangle and circle. It is very clear that there is one right angle triangle ABC, two sides are given 18 and 24, and two circles of equal radius are inscribed. It is given that one circle is touching the perpendicular AB and base BC. Another triangle, another circle is touching the side BC and the hypotenuse AC. And these two circles are touching each other as shown in the figure. Now you have to find out the radius of the circle, radius of each circle. Now, if we look at the diagram, what you are getting, it is a right angle triangle. So first we can say that in any right angle triangle, we can apply Pythagoras theorem or better to say we can apply Pythagorean triplet. Let's go with this. We can apply Pythagorean triplet to find out the sides of a right angle triangle. So if it is 18 and 24, so if we have 18 and 24, the third side, the hypotenuse can be calculated in this way. That 18 and 24, check it, both are divisible by 6. So we can say the simplified form will be 3, 4. And we have basic Pythagorean triplet 3, 4, 5. And here 3, 4, 5, each number will be multiplied by 6 to get the sides 18, 24 and third one will be so we can get this is right now check one more thing in this figure what we are having that if we go with the diameters if we draw the line here this will be the diameter and if radius is r, we can easily say that this diameter will be 2r. Now, in the right, circle on the right hand side, we can again go with that. But as of now, let it be in the left hand side circle. This is 2r. Now, if we draw a perpendicular here, if we draw a perpendicular here, say the perpendicular draw from here, that is passing through the point of intersection of the circles and it is touching the side BC here. So if we join this here, so we can easily mark this point as P and this point as Q. Check here, if 
This is the diameter 2R from this point of intersection to this point. If this diameter is 2R, so we can easily say that BQ is again 2R. As BC is 24, BQ is 2R, we can say QC is 24, QC is 24 minus 2R. Right? First part is done. Second part. If we go with the triangles ABC, triangle ABC and triangle PQC will be similar to each other. So when two triangles are similar, their sides will be proportionate. So what we can say in triangle PQC, sides PQ, QC and PC will be again in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. Right? So what you are getting that sides of the triangle ABC are in the ratio 3, 4, 5 as the sides of the triangle PQC will be proportionate. So their ratio will be again 3 is to 4 is to 5. So what we can assume here, let PQ be 3x, QC be 4x, and PC be 5x. Now, if we go with this triangle PQC and we consider this trend, this circle now, this circle will be the in circle to the triangle PQC. So, if we go with the area formula, so what you are getting here, we are getting here that area of triangle PQC will be half into base into height. So it will be coming as half into half into base is say 20, uh, QC is 4X. And PQ height, uh, it will be 3x. And we have another area formula in term of in radius, that is in radius r into semi perimeter. So if we go with that, r into semi perimeter means 3x plus 4x plus. 5x, sorry, 3x plus 4x plus 5x by 2. So if we balance left hand side and right hand side in the next line, what you are getting half into 4x into 3x equals to R into 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 3, 12 by 2, 6x. This is 6x. Okay. So on the left hand side and right hand side, we can simplify a bit. So 3x, it is coming 2. And what you are getting here, this. 2, this 2 will be cancelled out with this. So what you are getting that R will be equal to X. 
and her r will be equal to x and if we proceed further what we will be getting here here in this figure what you are getting that qc is 4x and here we have qc is 24 minus r so what we can write down here 24 minus 2R, that is QC, will be equals to 4X. And here we are getting R equal to X. So we can substitute here. So it will be coming as 4R. So what we are getting, 6R equals to 24. So your answer is coming. R equal to 24 by 6 is 4. So in the option, you will mark the value 4. So check here, in this particular problem, though we have circle, but we have used the basic concept of triangle here. First, we have used Pythagorean triplet. Second, we have used similarity of triangle and how we have used concept of in circle and of triangle. Now it is very simple problem for us if we can think in this way sequentially, if we can think in this order, it will be very much helpful for us to solve this kind of problem of that paper very easily and very smoothly. Thank you. If you have any doubt, you can call me in the number 8420425084 or in our YouTube channel, you can write down your doubts in the comment box. Thank you.